Hello guys, Silverstar Mashups here with a fake accent coming from my room. Um, I was asked by a couple of people to do a tutorial using Audacity on how I make mashups. So um, I guess I'll do this short little tutorial. It shouldn't be too long. Uh, I'm going to do something pretty simple as far as mashup wise. I'm going to make a pretty simple mashup um, just so I don't have to spend too much time showing you the extreme advancements because they're not really necessary. It's really a lot of play with it and go along as you progress, I suppose. Uh, I'll go over a few of the um, features in Audacity. Uh, I will say that I have absolutely no experience in any other mashup field as far as using other programs such as Virtual DJ, uh, FL Studio, um, I haven't used any of those, so I have no idea how they work, and I wouldn't even know where to begin. So I know that it can be alien using this program when you used those programs in the past. So I'll try and keep that in mind and try not to go too advanced for you. Um, I guess uh, the, the first thing I want to go over is some of the effects that you can go into. Um, amplifying, of course, uh, raises the volume. Uh, I don't really mess with a lot of these because they're not really necessary to mess with a lot of as far as mashups go. Uh, now if you're doing audio work, of course, you're probably going to use a lot of these. But as far as mashup wise, you're not going to use all of these, so don't worry about it. Don't let it scare you of all these effects. Uh, you'll mostly be sticking to amplify, uh, change pitch maybe, uh, possibly change speed, definitely change tempo. Um, uh, the fade in and out, usually fade out at the end of the mashup just to kind of even things out and make them kind of go away. I uh, won't be using any of these. Noise removal, maybe sometimes. Uh, not so much, usually. Uh, none of these, really. So really, that's all there is. Though. Just those few is all you're really going to be using as far as effects-wise. Uh, you won't be using generate anything. Uh, tracks, maybe add new. That's about it. Um... Transport. I don't think I've ever used any transport. Uh, view. I've, I haven't really done a lot of view. Um, edit. Of course, there's the basics in edit, and of course the basics in file. Uh, now, when it comes to bringing stuff into Audacity, you can either go to file, import, uh, audio labels, my die, raw data, import any of that. I find it easier just to uh, bring up a folder with what I'm going to use and just drag just drag it from wherever into Audacity. Uh, even if Audacity is minimized, uh, you can drag it down to the thing and it will pop open and just like that. And it will pop open and you can drag it in like that. Um, like I said, I'm going to do something very simple. Uh, I'm going to mix um, Cult of Personality, which is really overused, but that's because it's so easy to work with and so simple to use and uh, Bart Gunn's third WWE theme, which is the Brawl for All theme from the Anthology CD. Um, as you can see, the uh, Brawl for All theme is not very long, so another thing, I won't be spending a lot of time on that. Um, and I won't definitely won't be using all of this. Uh, maybe, like, let's see if I, if I just bring it up here and just see. So maybe to there, possibly, uh, will be all I'm using. Um, Alright, so the first thing um, to do is, of course, zoom in, because you can't work like this. So what I do is I hold the control button, and I use my mouse wheel. And if you push the mouse wheel up, it zooms in, and if you pull it back, it zooms out like that. And it, depending on where you move it, like if I move the mouse over here, it will zoom into this specific area. Uh, so we're going to zoom in over here, very simply. And scroll over here. And we are going to want this up here, probably. And we're probably going to want to move this back, because the way Brawl for All's theme starts out, let's mute this and listen to how this theme starts out. Alright, so see, it starts off like that. So you're probably going to have the uh, the cult of personality coming in before this music even starts. Uh, which is why a, a lot of, I don't like a lot of um, cult of personality mashups because it's sometimes hard to find a song 
where the music starts before the actual singing would begin, unless you add Cult of Personality into a Mega Mix. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so, from the way this starts, I'm going to play it again and see. Alright, so I'm going to say that it would be like, uh, look in my eyes, and then on eyes it would go, just, just by going by my ear. Uh, completely random, you know, just just by what I think would sound right. So, before we edit anything, as far as um, tempo and speed and all that, I'm going to uh, move this back and see where it go and see where eyes is of where I'm I'm guessing right here somewhere, but I'm gonna listen to it to see where. Look in my. All right, so. Alright, so he says I is around here, so see, I was wrong. So, um, I'm going to guess that will be about where he starts. Okay, so over here, you notice it's starting to match up down here. So, I'm either going to want to match this, the spike here, I'm either going to match that to this, or this. I'm either going to want to match it, whichever one's going to sound better once I start playing this. So I'm going to see how it sounds just right now, raw, no editing. What do you see? The cult of personality. I know you're right. Okay, one thing I can tell right off the bat is that cult of personality is too slow as it is right now. I'm going to make that slightly faster. So that tells me that this spike is probably going to match up with this because I'm, I'm going to... What do you see? It's going to be like... So this is when he says the... And this is cult, so the cult of personality. I'm probably gonna want to match this. Da da dun. I want to match that with the cult. And it goes the cult of dun dun personality, like that. Some something like that. Um, again, mostly this is just going by ear. Um, a lot. That's what a lot of mashup is. If you don't have the ear for it, then you should probably avoid this field. Uh, the, the good thing is, a lot of people do have the ear for it uh, if you have the patience and the dedication to work with it. Um, some have slightly more talent than others, like I am nowhere near the caliber of Eric Minnesota or Kayfabe mashups. They are streets ahead of me. I would consider myself on level of a lot of the mm, almost main eventers, uh, probably. Um, high mid card I would I would consider myself around there uh, even since the be their very beginning silver star mashup that's why I call myself that I'm not quite the best but I'm second place and that's good enough for me uh, so before I do make any changes to cult of personality just to make sure I'm gonna line it up with the cult right there just like I said I was going to I'm gonna see how that sounds look in my eyes what do you see the cult of personality Yeah, see, it's definitely offbeat, but only because Cult of Personality is slower than Brawl for All. Um, so, you either want to increase the speed of this, or decrease the speed of this. Now, the thing is, increasing the speed slightly, it doesn't cause much audio uh, distortion, as opposed to if you make something go slower. So, I'm going to make this slightly faster, because... It is off by just a small amount, I'm guessing, uh, not by too much. Uh, so we're going to increase the speed of this. Now, the first thing you need to do is select this entire track. And you do that just by clicking anywhere in this area, this little area of the track. You just click that, and it selects the entire track. So whatever effect you add to this, it will add that effect to the whole track. So we are going to want to change the tempo. You do not want to change the speed. Changing the speed will also change the pitch. Uh, just for example, uh, I'm going to change the speed by, uh, let's see, since I wouldn't think it would be much faster, I'm going to change it to around there, maybe, and just preview this to hear it, maybe. And that's not working. So I'm going to 
go ahead and change the speed because I can always undo it. Um, but see this, uh, just listen to what it sounds like after I change the speed and not the tempo. Because there is a significant difference between changing speed and changing just the tempo. Uh, first I'm going to mute this, then I'm going to scoot this over a little bit and just listen. Look in my eyes, what do you see? The cult of personality. Now see, it made it faster, but it also uh, changes the pitch up a little bit. So I'm going to uh, well, undo the time shift till it be it moves it back and undo this change speed. So the thing you want to mess with mostly is changing tempo. Now when you're changing tempo, um, I like to stay in increments of five at least. Um, you can always go half of five, which is two and a half as it's listed here. That's usually my go-to change tempo. I usually change tempo in increments of 2.5 and usually work my way off of that mathematically. Now working my way off mathematically means um, maybe half of 2.5. Um, or maybe just undoing 2.5 altogether and going with 1.5 and then going from there mathematically which is in the half decimals such as 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125 and 0 0.0625 again sounds a lot more complicated than it really is and it's really just basically your um, you're uh, just changing it as you go you're, you're just messing with it trying to see what sounds best me, I don't think it needs to go as high as 5, so I'm going to try 2.5 and see where that gets us. So, don't worry about this beats per minute from down here. I never worry about that. And I never worry about the length uh, down here either. Just worry about filling in this spot. Don't worry about sliding it because you get these odd numbers like this. Especially if you go up and you get way too high and you go down and you just get only certain increments. So, what I worry about is just this. I just type in what I want. I just type in the 2.5 and it changes it for me like that. And it changes the tempo. So there we go. Now, sometimes when you change the tempo, I'm going to see before I move it. Sometimes you try and move it, it will move. Other times when you change the tempo, uh, in fact, to show you what it will do, I'm going to undo the change in the tempo and I'm going to change the tempo again only make it higher up to five say and we'll see if it goes from there alright now see um, now if I try and move it it only moves this way and when I move it this way see this black line is stopping it if we zoom in we notice that because it changed the tempo up so much it had to create extra space to match the original length um, if you just click this little line right here it merges that together and no problems whatsoever after that you can move it wherever you want to that's just a little tidbit of information there one a little tip if you find yourself where you can't move your um, can't move your track then just go all the way to the end and see if there's a little black line and if there is then simply merge it together okay so we're going back to where we were with the changing the tempo of 2.5 and we're going to see where that leads us because that's probably going to put us pretty close to where we want this mashup to be again this is a very simple mashup there won't be a lot of time spent on it just for the mere fact that I want to try and make this tutorial as quick as possible so we know that this needs to be matched up right here so we're going to listen to it like that because we know that's where our matchup needs to be. So we're going to see if this is where we want it. <laughs> 